there was a TV serial in our times which is Udan. So I was actually inspired uh, by the lady and uh, I wanted to be an IPS officer. So initially as, as a child, but subsequently, uh, I think, you know, when I started preparing, then my friends, uh, they told me that, you know, IAS is more, uh, you know, it has more potential and more scope for service. So that's how I shifted from my target from IPS to IPS. Hello, everyone. I welcome you all to the podcast, Unsung Warriors of the Civil Services. In this podcast, we will be discussing the field experiences of the respected civil servants of India and the role they have played in transforming the society. Today, we have a true pillar of Indian administration joining us. With a distinguished career span of nearly two decades, she has served the West Bengal cadre with utmost dedication and initiative. Let us give a warm welcome to our guest, Ismita Pandey, ma'am, who is an IAS officer of 2005 batch. Thank you, ma'am, for joining us so today. Much. Thank you so much, Nitya. Welcome, ma'am. So, ma'am, your journey boasts of an incredible range of experiences from handling the complexities of the Gorkha land movement to securing a massive loan for the state government. But one thing that I would like to initially is what drew you to a career in the civil services? Well, I think uh, that's a very interesting question. Uh, there was a TV serial in our times, which is Udan. So I was actually inspired uh, by the lady and uh, I wanted to be an IPS officer. So initially as, as a child, but subsequently, uh, I think, you know, when I started preparing, then my friends, uh, they told me that, you know, IAS is more, uh, you know, it has more potential and more scope for service. So that's how I shifted from my target from IPS to IPS. So that's it. Uran was my inspiration. Okay, that is very well said. And ma'am, um... I would like to start with the second wave of Gorkha land movement, which is a very challenging thing when you were posted as an SDO in Siliguri. So what are the lessons that you learned while dealing with this issue? Uh, well, that was like uh, the beginning of my career. And uh, I think uh, it was uh, it was very, very challenging. So lessons uh, learned is basically, you know, there are two aspects of administration we used to be told by our seniors and that I saw practically. So first is law and order and the second is administration, the development. So as long as law and order is in place, you can actually peacefully think for development. Hmm. So do you understand the complexity? So if the law and order is not well in any place, you cannot think uh, for development. So that is the biggest takeaway for me in my service that because of continuous agitations, we were not able to take up so many schemes in time because our total energy was uh, driven towards controlling the situation, controlling the sentiments, and deployment of force, mobilization of force. So that is the thing, you know, uh, peace is more important. In fact, peace is most important ingredient for uh, beginning any kind of development. And what kind of uh, changes you think that it made in your personality with respect to the services as well? Oh, I became very brave, I think, because the kind of situation that I faced, I still remember that my commissioner sir said that, uh, Smita, you have been baptized by fire. <laughs> so... Get, waking up late, going up, you know, anywhere in the town and imposing 144 for the first time in my life, martial orders. So all those things, you know, it made me very, very strong. I thought, you know, now I can do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I completely agree. Because sometimes the preparation phase, we have all aspirants. We feel like it will be a dreamy life. Hogi. And when you face something like this, it must be yes. very challenging as well. Okay. So, yeah, ma'am, uh, very true. 
Now, next topic that I would like to delve upon is that uh, democracy and elections both are very close to the heart of Indians. Or abhi abhi elections hue bhi hai, and your role with respect to electoral reforms is also commendable. Polling personnel, which in Lake, Jobi Apne electoral reforms ki hai, they have been implemented nationwide. So, what initially inspired these reforms and what were the hurdles that you faced while implementing them? So, there's a very interesting small story about it. As a probationer in Badwan, uh, I was given the responsibility of uh, being a presiding officer in a polling station. So, presiding officer is the one who conducts the election at the booth level. Okay. Generally, that uh, posting is not given to uh, officers. So, during my training, there's a by-election in Katwa. Uh, this is this was a Lok Sabha by-election, and our DM sir asked us that uh, you are you interested. So we said we took the approvals, and that's how we are posted. So when I went there, uh, when I reached there, uh, because I was the only lady in the booth, so there were some arrangements which were made. So when I reached early in the morning for the elections, the other polling officers were very uh, upset and uh, they said to me in Bangla that, uh, Madam, do you realize what kind of... Uh, night we have had it was a harrowing experience we had to sleep on floor there was a mosha kar chilo mosha is machar and aapne to bhalo kare ghoom pe chhe mala aapne to achche se soya hai to bade achche log the bade sache log the aur bade aram se unhone mujhe raat bhar apni takleefein jo unki rahi unhone mujhe bataya to wo mere dimag mein kahin tha ki mujhe laga ki inko takleef hui aur inko ye laga ki mujhe aaram hai Hmm. तो तब मैंने उसको दिमाग में रखा क्योंकि उस समय मेरी पोजीशन नहीं सो व्हेन आई बिकेम द डीएम एंड इट वाज द ट्रेनिंग ऑफ द पोलिंग पर्सनल्स व्हिच आर गोइंग ऑन देन अगेन आई मेट विद सम रेजिस्टेंस सो देयर वर पीपल इन द ट्रेनिंग व्हेन दे सॉ दैट आई वाज कमिंग आई वाज विजिटिंग द टू ओवरसी दैट यू नो हाउ द ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम इज टेकिंग सो द मोमेंट दे सॉ मी एंड दे स्टार्टेड एजिटेटिंग की madam i did not get this last time i did not i had no proper arrangements to reach there was no uh, provision for food and for money also there were issues so then uh, i took a proper feedback i sat down and i said that instead of agitating you all sit down and tell me one by one i noted all the points then i went back and i discussed it with my team and uh, we launched a scheme which is known as apnar junno aapke liye for you so what we did is there were basic issues like uh, stay arrangements because if you see uh, generally all the uh, polling stations are nothing but classrooms mostly yes or office rooms so they are they don't have facilities they are either they are benches or you know other things so what we did is we prepare we got the self help groups of the district involved i had nine blocks in my district and nine federations so block level uh, groups of uh, sngs are known as federations so we we roped in the uh, self help groups we got uh, mats made for the occasion chatai jise apne yahan kehte hain bangla mein usse chat kehte hain so we got the mats we got the air filled pillows and we got uh, you know uh, this made in in form of a kit there were people mm -hmm. who ran after aapne eto tak kurchen to ekta moshari ho kore din aap itna kar rahi hain to ek machhadani bhi kar diye maine kaha that's a good idea so i added moshari to it it was the overall the entire thing cost me only 10 lakh for the entire district so we gave them this kit through the self help groups Uh, so that uh, you know they their stay in the polling station was comfortable and they were supposed to deposit it back it it still continues second uh, what we did is their payment was an issue they were not getting in time so if i'm doing a duty and i'm supposed to get paid for it i should get it with dignity so i got everything made it uh, you know we, our our entire team worked towards giving it online so much so that uh, more than 90% of the payment was made online so 
जो हमारा DCRC होता है DCRC means distribution center and receiving center वहां पर भीड़ बहुत कम हो वरना वहां बहुत किच किच होती थी बहुत ही कम हो गई द थर्ड इशू वॉज फूड विच वॉज वेरी वेरी पर्टिनेंट बिकॉज इट इज बेसिकली थ्री डेज द डे दे रिपोर्ट टू द डी सी आर सी देन दे गो इन फॉर पोलिंग पोल एंड देन दे रिटर्न सो देन वी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप मेड होटल्स मतलब एक छोटे तीन तीन हम लोगों ने पंडाल बना दिए थे जो होटल की तरह वो कर रहे थे और उसमें भी सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स थे we removed the tender process entirely and it was all by the ladies and it was warm cooked food another thing that we decided is a domino style delivery uh, system and you have no idea what uttar dinajpur is it's a very remote rural uh, district uh, one of the very you know remote uh, place so वहां पे डोमिनोज वाला तो मेरी टीम तो पूरी हो गई कि मैडम यहाँ कैसे होगा सो वॉट वी डिड इज फ्रॉम द डी सी आर सी वी वी गेव स्लिप्स टू ईच पोलिंग पार्टी विच कंटेन द नंबर ऑफ दिस सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप ऑफ दैट विलेज सो द मोमेंट दे वेंट इन साइड देर बूथ दे यूज टू कॉल कि मैडम प्लीज प्रिपेयर लंच फॉर फोर so the lunch for four prepared warm from the house would come to the polling station and the the biggest uh, you know pleasure was people giving me a, a call in the night at 11:30 j madam thank you so much uh, you know we are absolutely satiated pe khana kha ke hum sone ja rahe hain hame bahut acha lagta i don't know kisi aur ke liye kya meaning rakhega lekin mujhe is cheez ki badi khushi hui कि उस ग्रेटिट्यूड के लिए उन्होंने मुझे फोन किया कि उनका पेट भरा हुआ है और वो कल शांति से इलेक्शन कर पाएंगे इवन ऑन द डे ऑफ द इलेक्शन दिस फैसिलिटी वाज अवेलेबल टू देम कि वो जब कहेंगे तो वो खाना उनके पास गर्मा गर्म पहुंच जाएगा सो दीज वर सीरीज ऑफ रिफॉर्म्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम द अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस वॉट वी डिट इज दैट द डी सेंटर वॉज प्रिपेयर इन सच अ वे कि वहाँ हमारी नौ सात ए सीज थी रायगंज की सातों का कलर कोडिंग हमने किया था तो कलर कोडिंग में क्या था कि एक होम ए सी है और एक वर्क ए सी है आप जहाँ के हैं और आपका आपको डिप्लॉय जहाँ किया गया उन दोनों का कलर अलग था और वी टोल्ड द पोलिंग पर्सन दैट यू प्लीज रिमेंबर योर कलर कोड ऑफ होम ए सी एंड वर्क ए सी सो दैट that color was posted even in the in the buses that they were traveling so that they don't need to remember the bus number they just need to see the color of the uh, color which is pasted on the uh, you know on the bus. bus itself and they can simply go even the volunteers were there because see it was a matter of about 10000 polling persons hmm. so 10000 is a huge number so i the volunteers were also putting on the same colors of uh, jackets on their jacket the same color was given so that it becomes very simple i i see purple a per person with a purple jacket or a purple poster and i just go to that person and with that person i go to the bus which is having a purple uh, poster there so no need to remember the number no need to find out who x y z is what is his name or her name just remember the color and reach your destination so my dcrc uh, matlab 1.5 ghante mein khali ho gayi subah subah zyada bheed nahi hua koi jhamela nahi hua aur jab wo log wapas aaye to bhi same scheme apply kiya dcrc ka jo internal alignment tha wo bhi hum logon ne itna smooth kar diya tha ki unko matlab koi bhi cheez paane mein koi dikkat na ho to ye sare jo anubhav the mere apne presiding officer ke din ke 2006 ke वो जाके सीधे 2015 में काम आए। ओके, सो दे हैव बीन इंप्लीमेंटेड वेरी रिसेंटली नेशन यस, दिस दिस लोकसभा इलेक्शन ऑफ 2014 एंड वाज रिकॉग्नाइज्ड बिकॉज़ जब से इलेक्शंस हो रहे हैं इंडिया में सारे रिफॉर्म्स इलेक्टोरल रिफॉर्म्स आर रिलेटेड टू वोटर्स सो दिस इज दस्ट टाइम दैट रिफॉर्म्स है 
इन फैक्ट आई वुड से दिस स्ट्रेटेजी वॉज वेरी इनोवेटिव एंड मोर ओवर इसमें इकोनॉमी भी बहुत ज्यादा मेंटेन हुई जैसे कि आपने एस को भी बेनिफिट किया उनको यूटिलाइज भी yes. किया and uh, it was a win win situation for everyone because yes. sgs ka itna acha income hua ki hum aapko bata nahi sakte they were extremely happy and moreover through this what i can gauge is that jaisa ki sabhi log aaj tak main bas ye sunti aayi hu that you get a lot of opportunities in civil services bahut hi diverse fields mein aapko kaam karne ko milta hai aur aapko kuch aise kaam karne ko milte hai jo maybe aap kisi aur service mein kabhi kar hi nahi sakte like such huge impact you can never create in I don't think आप कहीं भी इतना और आप सिर्फ एक इलेक्टोरल रिफॉर्म में आप मल्टीपल डोमेन्स में वर्क करें यू आर वर्किंग फॉर एस एच जी यू आर वर्किंग फॉर द पोलिंग पर्सोनल और पोलिंग पर्सोनल जब अगर उनको ये सब अच्छा होगा तो देर एफिशियंसी विल ऑल्सो इम्प्रूव एंड दैट विल अल्टीमेटली इम्पैक्ट द इलेक्शन एज अ होल सो दिस वॉज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू हेयर एंड now another topic and this is now implemented uh, pan india election commission has has issued guidelines whatever we did in uttar pradesh now this is implemented all over india yes ma'am definitely so congratulations for this fiat as well that your reforms are being implemented nationwide um another thing it was a team effort all of us did it in, indeed Uh, another pressing issue that India faces is malnutrition, which is being highlighted time and again in the Global Hunger Index as well. And your initiatives towards it through the Pushti program are commendable, ma'am. It will be really interesting if you can throw some light upon this as well. And what again inspired these reforms, and what are the initiative uh, initial obstacles that you have to face while implementing them? So. again uh, i think it was a visit it was a field visit which which actually disturbed me i was in a remote area for some kind of inauguration of icds uh, program hmm. and in the program um, they were uh, weighing the children in front of me so i saw a child which was quite uh, low in weight so that was very disturbing वो छह साल का बच्चा छह किलो का था तो वो मुझे लगा कि ऐसा कैसे हो सकता है क्योंकि मेरा भी बेटा छह साल का था तो आई थिंक दैट वाज वेरी वेरी डिस्टर्बिंग एंड देन यू नो इट इट मेड मी थिंक एंड इट मेड मी रिफ्लेक्ट फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम एंड देन आई डिस्कस्ड इट विद माय पीपल माय टीम एंड in uttar dinajpur there is a kvk so i remembered because my father was also working in kvk in tura so i called up the uh, scientists which are there in kvk chopra in uttar dinajpur so we discussed and we realized that there are formulations which can be given hmm. so after discussing uh, again i made use of those nine federations which are there in the which were there in the block we got them trained we got them trained Uh, we got them some machineries we got fssi certification done and that's how the beginning of pushti happened and uh, as i told you that uttar pradesh is a very backward district so the health index was also not good so we just thought that let's take the plunge and uh, what we used to do is give one packet to each family every week wherever there was a sam bachcha sam is like severely and acutely uh, acutely malnourished so every tuesday uh, all our officers all our district officers will be out on the field and uh, the the mandate was that everyone has to while distributing the packets they have to upload the pictures so uh, it was a uh, it it was an interesting thing to observe and people were very excited because they could see the results within a week or two weeks the the line for that packet and you know the craze uh, the kind of uh, because it was i apparently it was very tasty so we had a government of india team visiting us and we made them also taste it <laughs> so it was like jaise bihar mein aapka sattu ka wo hota hai usi type ka taste tha uska अच्छा था तो दैट बिकेम इंस्टेंट हिट एंड इट हेल्प मी रिड्यूस द मलनरिशमेंट इंडेक्स ऑफ द डिस्ट्रिक्ट एज वेल सो 
that's it that is how it was implemented every tuesday the all the the entire team will be out in the field and they'll distribute they will also give orientation to parents ki kaise dena hai i think this should also be implemented this. nationwide <laughs> i think now the schemes are getting implemented yes fortification and all we are doing this and uh, ma'am i would like to ask one thing that uh, this is during which year because you are using technology as well that you have to send a photo as well so this is during which year this is 2014 okay this is very recent but uh, it is good that technology also is also used to track whether the packets are distributed or not and in fact the examples that you are quoting is i think that the students can use them in case studies as well or the ethics paper so and these are some real life examples uh, which will be very innovative as well aur sath mein baki jo self satisfaction milta hai itni matlab maybe it is obviously it is your work but uh, the kind of satisfaction that you get after creating such a massive impact is huge so next thing that i would like to discuss is that entrepreneurship is being talked about everywhere startups are here and i believe it is important for rural development as well so what are the challenges that you faced while being the ceo of srlm and what are the initiatives that you took for the shgs so uh, shg se mera nata to pehle ka hi tha तो एस आर एल एम इज अ वेरी इनोवेटिव प्रोग्राम एंड आई एम वेरी प्राउड ऑफ माई स्टेट बिकॉज इन इन वेस्ट बेंगल आई थिंक इट इज वेस्ट बेंगल विच हैज गिवन टू इंडिया द द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप सो एंड वी हैव वेरी डीप एंड वाइड प्रेजेंस ऑफ एस एच जीज अक्रॉस द स्टेट सो वो बेनिफिट मुझे मिला मेरे प्रोड्यूस भी बहुत अच्छे थे उन्होंने भी बहुत हार्डवर्क करके सिस्टम सेटअप किया था सो बेस्ड ऑन माय एक्सपीरियंसेस ड्यूरिंग माय डीएमशिप आई आई जस्ट यू नो गॉट द एंटायर थिंग रिव्यूड वंस अगेन एंड आई रियलाइज्ड दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स दे वर हैविंग यूनिक प्रोडक्ट्स दे वर हैविंग गुड प्रोडक्ट्स बट मार्केटिंग वॉज एन इशू marketing was an issue and there are certain uh, new kind of schemes uh, regarding entrepreneurship uh, by by the government of india so those schemes were being uh, implemented in uh, like box kind of an atmosphere ki usko implement karna hai uska wider implication understand nahi kar pate the to usse kuch log benefit hote the kuch log reh jate the some of the districts where the scheme is being implemented people will know about it rest of the people will not know so what we did is while doing our monthly reviews we decided that we will allow the self help groups from one district to go and view the potential the execution of the success stories of other self help so that brings a kind of motivation into mm-hmm. them ki ye bhi possible hai this can be done similarly uh, there were uh, people who were doing uh, certain good businesses but they did not they generally don't have that business kind of an acumen so they were given hand holding support uh, by special agencies are there there are certain institutes which provide that support so we tagged with them but what was more important was a marketing platform so uh, we we initially thought that we will kind of you know try to implement the uh, online uh, platform e-commerce platform like uh, some of the southern states but then we realized that it will be very difficult because the kind of uh, you know procedures that you are supposed to do hmm. for uploading for sending the general rule women are too simple to understand and then they will again you know fall into vict- some kind of victimization so what we did is uh, there's a very beautiful uh, state level uh, shop here which is known as shrishti shrishti which represents the uh, products of each districts of our state 
तो वॉट वी डिड इज वी प्लान शिशन ईच ऑफ द डिस्ट्रिक्ट सो दैट दे हैव देयर ओन शॉप इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड देन subsequently the next stage would have been you know in each of the subdivision or something like that wherever possible hmm. so they were they were asked to identify so that they know that our product will be uh, you know sold in this particular shop so and we also uh, try to develop a, a marketing uh, group so out of the generally the sg groups are uh, they are generally made up of uh, 10 women of a village so marketing group will be something which is made from these uh, groups which mm. will be good in the skills interpersonal skills okay. which will be good in uh, sales which could be trained mm. but uh, unfortunately uh, like i because of the transfers and all i had to leave it in between but uh, as such also in our state like uh, the self help group products are being displayed everywhere in any big function in any big uh, business meet or anywhere they are given a special place okay so so that the uh, marketing access they have so ma'am while implementing these reforms did you ever feel like that like it is taking a lot of time and uh, as a give up jaisa attitude ya maybe ऐसा लग रहा हो कि ये तो हो ही नहीं पा रहा है जैसे कई बार जब हम यूपीएससी की प्रिपरेशन करते हैं तब भी ये फीलिंग बहुत बार आती है कि ये तो हो ही नहीं पा रहा है या ये हो ही नहीं सकता है एट दैट टाइम व्हाट यू डिड या कई बार होता है कि नित्या आई थिंक बाय डिफॉल्ट मेरे अंदर वो जीन्स है ही नहीं कि वो हो नहीं सकता सो आई डोंट गिव अपट्स माई प्रॉब्लम यू कैन से आई डोंट गिव अपट पर्टिकुलर थिंग इज आउट ऑफ क्वेश्चन so what i think is that this never give up attitude is required in the services as well as during the preparation as well yes definitely and definitely talking about the various positions that have you have been posted in so you need to adapt to multiple skills and knowledge set how did you deal with it you are supposed to deal with it isn't it <laughs> true चुनिटी टू लर्न एनीथिंग न्यू सडन यू आर you know having a huge scope to learn something new definitely so what i can gauge is that uh, you need to have that never give up attitude and you need to have a solution oriented approach rather than thinking ki someone is complaining ya ye problem ko kaise deal kiya jaye इन सिविल सर्विसेज वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड इज की आप कुछ इनोवेटिव कॉस्ट एफिशियंट सोल्यूशन लेके आओ एंड यू नीड टू बी एम्पेटिक विदिमांड ऑफ दिटीजनिंग टू देंड ऑफ दिस पॉडकास्ट आई वुड लाइक टू नो वॉट एडवाइस वुड यू गिव टू दस्पिरेंट हु आर एमिंग टू ज्वाइन दी सर्विसेस दो ही बात है पहली चीज कि सपने देखने चाहिए और सपने जब देखने हो तो हमेशा पूरी सब्जी के देखें सपने देखने में कंजूसी नहीं करना है कि रोटी का भी चलेगा दाल का भी चलेगा नो यू नो व्हेन यू आर एमिंग व्हेन यू आर ड्रीमिंग यू हैव टू ड्रीम द बेस्ट थिंग इन योर लाइफ वट बेस्ट यू परसीव फॉर योर लाइफ सो सपने हमेशा पूरी सब्जी के देखें और सेकेंड इज there is no substitute to hard work and consistency i can i may be sounding very routine hmm. but this is a fact in life number one hard work hard work as in you have to persist you have to keep coming back you have to keep coming back and when you you are coming back don't come back by generating negative thoughts come back with mai kahan galat thi what are the areas which are you know still remaining and hard work and consistency are like bread and butter or maybe like 
क्या कहूँ एक दूसरे के पूरक है कंसिस्टेंसी अगर आपके अंदर नहीं है तो आपका हार्ड वर्क जो है वो वेस्ट है बिल्कुल तो इसमें आपको कुछ भी करिए वो उसका कोई कॉम्प्रोमाइज है ही नहीं हार्ड वर्क आपको करना ही पड़ेगा आपको जुटना पड़ेगा आपको पढ़ते रहना पड़ेगा अपने अपने अंदर की जो कमियां है अपने आप को इंक्रिमिनेट नहीं करना है ये नहीं कहना कि हाय में ये नहीं कर सकता या नहीं कर सकती बल्कि आपको ये कहना है कि मैं क्या करूं कि इस सिचुएशन से मैं बाहर निकल क्या करूं कि मेरे पास ये सोल्यूशन आ जाए सो दैट यू हैव टू डू सो एंड बेस्ड ऑन माई वेरी रिसेंट एक्सपीरियंस द थर्ड थिंग दैट आई वुड लाइक टू से टू ऑल ऑफ यू दो आर एस्पायरिंग इज दैट यू नो connect within so meditation if you uh, you know find out time for meditation and some physical work it really helps you to bounce back so these are the three things that i have said so this was a truly inspiring conversation and you have dealt with monumental challenges throughout your career and your unwavering determination towards the public service is also commendable and for our listeners till that i would like to know what are the qualities that you consider that are required to be a good civil servant and stay updated for the next episode